So I um, don't have like a really big conversion story kind of thing. And I find that it's like the small and subtle things that help me like with my faith and with my belief. And so one happened a, not that long ago, um, and I was struggling with like my friends and with myself. And I was just feeling like overwhelmed with um, feeling like I had to like come up with ideas for everybody to do. And so I kind of, um, I started hanging out with other people and I stopped inviting my friends. And I thought that like, oh, like, um, it's okay, like I, I deserve a break or um, that like I don't feel obligated to like invite them. And I felt this way until one of my best friends, she called and so we went and talked and she told me that she'd been like, she'd been feeling um, rejected and unwanted and invisible. And so I went home that night and I prayed for understanding for like how she was feeling. Um, and I got my answer a few days later. I hadn't been invited to something that I wanted to go to. <laughs> and I was, I was really sad and I was confused because like I, I didn't understand why not. Um, and so then I realized like, hey, that's, that's my answer kind of thing on how my friend was feeling. And so after that, I just started like trying to include everybody, even if like I knew they weren't gonna go kind of thing. I'd just be like, hey, like you wanna come to this? And if they would come, they'd be happy to be there. Through that story with finding understanding with my friend, it helps me realize that like um, Christ understands because he's been through it too. And so now like with my friend, we can talk at a deeper level and I can like apply that and talk to Christ at a deeper level because I know he understands how I feel and I know he's gone through what I've gone through.